So hey hello everyone. So this video I am going to show you how to implement MKDIR or make directory Linux command by using C program. So I am going to code it live and I am just going to run this code in rep Linux which creates a Linux terminal online. So that's what I am going to do. I am going to also give you a live demo. So let's get started. So first start with a header file. So it's going to be ash include stdio.h as usual and for this uh, MKDI implementation we are going to also use a special header file which is ash include system that is sys slash stat dot h so this is a special header file because we are going to control we are going to create a folder basically direct folder director so you need some special system commands so that are present in this sys slash stat dot h header file so now let's get started with a basic command line argument so it's going to be int main so we are going to pass in the form of command line so int argc that is the argument count and char asterisk argv and array okay character array so int argc means uh, argument count number of arguments and char asterisk ar means the character of uh, character of arguments okay we are going to show the arguments in the form of a character array so first thing what we are going to do here is that it's just a simple line of code. We are going to just use an integer variable. So I will put in C. C is going to be a variable. And C equal to mkdir. Same thing. Okay. Same command Linux. Same thing in the in our C also. mkdir. And our name of our directory. So name of our directory is going to be argument of 1. You may ask me why we are putting a, a argument of 1 instead of argument of 0. That is basically because once we have ran our, once we have run our C program that is by using dot uh, gcc our file name dot c to view the output we will be using dot slash error out in linux okay so that dot slash error out will be argv of zero zeroth index so that's also counted and dot slash error out after that we will be entering our file name so that file name will also be counted as a second argument only that is index number one so first argument will be our dot slash error out and that is zeroth index second argument is the file name or directory name that is argument in number index 1. So that's the trick over here. So that's argv1. And next thing is the permission. So permission is going to be 007. And this way 077 means that. So actually it's only triple seven zero because mkd takes in some octal form. So that's why we're adding an extra zero. Triple seven means that this directory is accessible to uh, what to say the current user, group users, and the public. So that means that anyone can access this file. So for no more about this, just Google file permission and their ports. You will be getting a you will have you will be getting a clear idea on that. So triple but triple seven means it's open to public. Anyone can use it. So after getting that, we will just it is just one line of code. We will simply check whether our directory has been created or not. So not equal to not equal to C because this returns okay this mkdir will return zero if our directory has been successfully created and it will return minus one. If our directory isn't created uh, or it becomes unsuccessful, so if not equal to C, okay, we will be printing true. That is true. Our directory has been created, so it's going to be print of created successfully. And in else spot, we'll be putting Some error, just put the error, okay. That's good. So, this is the code basically our code over here. Now, those who didn't understand this code, if C is 0 means C equal to 0, if MKD returns 0 means our what to say, our data has been successfully created. So, our C value will be 0. If not of 0 means it is 1 actually, so our if condition is true. So, if our if condition is true, this statement will get executed. And if it returns minus 1, if this MKD error, that means our data has been passing created successfully. So it will throw minus one and our minus one will be going here and our if condition will be not of minus one so which is false basically and it will go to else condition and this print of error will be print of error will be getting displayed so that's the main basic trick over here just copy this piece of code control c and just go to repl id so just google repl id you will get it in next terminal and you will just sign up sign up with a google account or a gmail just click it and just go to bash and name your folder or anything so i will name it my folder and just click create ripple 
so to just create your Linux terminal online okay so that's good it's connected so just type pwd and uh, as you can see here i named my folder my folder so from root to my folder so now let's create a c folder c file okay so it's going to be touch and my pro okay my pro dot c will be name of our c program program file and just go to that file just paste our code and for running our code it's gcc everyone knows know about it gcc file uh, file name that is my pro dot c okay so that's our code as successful program so you will see a dot slash error dot file okay so now to view the output dot slash a dot out and here we will pass the directory name that we are going to create so we will create let me create uh, our directory p o r y okay. our directory and hit enter so as you can see here we are successfully created so it's created successfully we are getting the output that means that mkdr is written 0 and 0 not of 0 is true if print created successfully is printed and as you can see to the left our directory has been successfully created so you can delete it, you can rename it and do anything. So that's it. We have successfully implemented MKDR command by using a C program. And I've also done many other Linux commands in by using C program head, echo, copy. So just check out my other videos of my channel. And I also done other tutorials in C, C plus Java, Blender, Unity. Kindly check out my other video, other videos. Subscribe and support me. Thanks for watching.